Hey guys, guess what we're making today? We're making rock candy, faux rock candy. Here's the green one that I did. You guys, these are so much fun. It would look so cute in your decor. Aren't these adorable? Okay, so what I did is I took gel food coloring. And I have this in my Amazon store, okay? And I took some... I took some of this glass deco stones from Hobby Lobby and they're in the floral section by the marbles. And I glued them with the hot glue. I tried using other glue, it just didn't work for me. It might work for you. But what I did is I took some of these bamboo pop sticks, okay, and this is in the baking section, just like they have for rock candy. But these don't didn't have the little bulb on it. So what I did is I got some of these at Hobby Lobby, which are the round balls, and these are three three eighths of an inch. And I took hot glue and I just glued it to the bottom. Okay. So you just need that. The wooden balls, if you want, you don't have to. If you just want to leave them plain like this, just do it. And your deco stones. So what we're going to do is we're just going to bring some of this, I think I'm going to put this down so I don't mess up my turntable. Okay. Now you got to be a little careful because, you know, you're dealing with hot glue. And I don't know, wouldn't you know it, I don't have my finger daubers, but I'll just use this to press it down with so I don't burn myself. Okay, so I just take the hot glue and I start right here. And you know hot glue dries fast. I'm going to stick it in here just to get myself started. Okay. And just let it dry. And I'm just putting some of these on. And it takes a while, you know. I mean, some of them fall off and you're going to have to go back and put them on. But, I mean, once you get them going, it's kind of relaxing gluing them on. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a, um, a coat of triple thick on these. Well, maybe I'll try to put uh, Glossy Mod Podge first and see. This is, to me, it's like mosaic, you know? And I used to love doing mosaic. And you're just going to keep building on this. I mean, you could use whatever you want. I guess you could use acrylic paint. I was going to say gloss paint, but I just don't know how that would dry. Where the gel worked perfect. What you want is you want to get this first base coat on. And then, like I say, then you'll just keep gluing little by little and adding... And 
just be careful of your fingers. And then I press it in as much as I can to make sure it stays. And that's how this one looked at first, too. But these would be pretty in a little container or in a little glass jar. Wouldn't that look good in a glass jar, an apothecary jar? And also, when if you um, seal it like with the triple thick, it'll keep all this glass on on each other. I had one of those glue guns with the real precise nose on it. Where I could get right down into that little area. I'm going to stick it in there since I have a... Yeah, that worked. You see what I mean? As you get going, and then you start building, you just put a little bit of that glue, and then you're able to catch quite a few of them onto it, which starts to build it up and thicken it. And then when you have areas like in here where there's like a dip or a dent in it, if you will, like right in here, then I'll go in by hand and put a couple big chunks of the glass. All right, I'll be back after I get more on. Okay. So here you go, here's two of them, and I think I'm going to do one more that's yellow. I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so putting a little bit more in. That's too much. That's too much still. Okay. Yellow. Just that tiny, tiny, tiny little bit will we'll color this whole thing. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? I mean, and that was a drop.
Okay. Okay. And glue dries fast, like you know, so I have to get it in there quickly to start this whole thing. And look, that's all I got, because it dries so fast. Okay guys, we're almost done. I'm going to do a little bit more with this yellow and then we're going to be done with this rock candy. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of the Mod Podge, the high gloss, on this and see how it does. You don't want the matte. Make sure you have the gloss luster.
Now it's going to look milky at first. Remember, I'm just going to do a little bit over here to test it. And then if it looks glossy, because keep in mind this is gel, some of this is going to come off. You know what I mean? Because it's on glass. It's a non-porous. So I got to be careful how much and how much I rub. Okay, let's see. We know we did that part, so let's see how that dries, how it looks, and that'll determine if I do any more. A little bit more yellow. A little bit more. I think I'm almost done with that yellow too. But aren't these pretty? They look just like rock candy. It's crazy. Okay, everybody, I just wanted to show you what they look like. I want to thank you for coming in and watching my end of summer sweet treat series. And there's the cotton candy. I made three different colors out of that uh, fiber fill. And this again was got, I got this at Easter time. So when you see that kind of stuff, pick it up or you can go ahead and uh, just color it with some blush or some chalks, something like that. Guys, this was fun. And now it's on to fall, right? Okay, you guys take care. Remember the world's a better place because you're in it. Don't ever, ever forget that. There's only one you, and you bring something to this world nobody else can. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.